Knowing what it is you want to accomplish will help you get there. Course level objectives describe what students should be able to do by the end of the semester. And lesson level objectives describe what students should be able to do by the end of the lesson. Learning objectives guide us in designing activities, materials, and assessments for our students. This session is about writing learning objectives. Learning objectives is sometimes called performance or behavioral objectives. These are statements of the intended outcomes of the instruction. They must be student-centered and focused on a singular concept, describing in specific and measurable terms what students are expected to be able to do after completing a lesson or instructional unit. The ABCD method of writing objectives specifies a core key characteristics that contribute to effective learning objectives, namely audience, behavior, condition, and degree. So this was lifted from Georgia State University, 1999. The audience is the learner who will demonstrate the behavior under specific conditions and to an acceptable degree. The behavior is what the learner is expected to be able to do. It must be observable and measurable. The condition, if any, describes the circumstances under which the learner will exhibit the behavior. As application of what we have learned on the ABC method in writing objectives, here is an example. Given a diagram of the eye, students will be able to label the nine extraocular muscles without error. So, as you can see, we have underlined the four parts. Given a diagram of the eye, this is the condition. Students, this is the audience, will be able to label the nine extraocular muscles. So, highlighted the word label, this is the behavior and our degree without error. So this is the proper way on how we will be doing or writing our objectives. Let us now check your understanding. Which of the following is the best example of a well-written learning objectives? Letter A. Students will be able to describe the psychosocial crisis at each stage of Erickson's psychosocial stages of development correctly. Letter B. Students will be able to understand Erickson's theory of development in order to be able to name the eight stages of development. Letter C. Students will be able to name the eight stages of Erickson's psychosocial stages of development in order to explain the psychosocial crisis at each stage. And letter D. Students will gain an appreciation for Erickson's theory of development. If you selected option A, you are correct. This learning objective is clear, specific, about what the student should be able to do in measurable terms, that is, to describe, and focus on a singular concept, crisis at each stage. Option B focuses on a singular concept, but the term understand is vague and not measurable or observable. Option C is clear and specific, but it incorporates two different concepts, naming the stages and explaining crisis at each stage. Option D is not measurable. It's appreciation and not specific about what students should know or be able to do. Please subscribe and hit the bell button for more updates. Thank you and subscribe.